Here's a quick tip for those who have faced the following problem. So imagine you've created this histogram and then you can see that there's, there's a space here between the zero value and the beginning of the x-axis and you want to remove that space. You might want to you, want, you might want to try out the following. So you use scale y continuous and you think that, well, I can just set the limits from zero to 32. So the axis, uh, y-axis should start zero and it end at 32. If you run that code, well, your problem is not being solved because you can still see this space. So now you might wonder where's the space coming from? And the reason uh, and the answer is that there's something called the expansion or expand argument in the scale y continuous function. So let me jump to that function, scale y continuous. And let's have a look at the expand argument. It's here. And the expand argument says that the defaults are to expand the scale by 5% on each side for continuous variables. So what that means, we have the limits 32 to 0. And we add a space of 32 times 0 0.005 to the top and bottom, 0 0.05, of course, to the top and bottom of the y-axis. So a space of 1.6 is added to at the bottom and 1.6 is added at the top. To remove that space you set the following values. So the expansion argument, there, there's a mod argument and there's an add argument. If you set both to zero both expansions will be removed from the y-axis and now you can see that the zero value starts exactly where the x-axis starts and also it exactly ends at the limit of 32. You can also only remove the space for one for the upper or lower end of the axis. So if you set this value to zero and the other one to two, then you add two values to the top of the visualization. Let me run that code and now I can see that there's a little bit of space added to the top. So that's how you remove the space at the lower end of the y-axis.